Hello viewers, um, today's video uh, is going to be the review on this uh, Nebo uh, 12K flashlight. Now this is their newest flashlight, uh, or their newest release of um, highest powered flat or the high the biggest flashlight that they manufacture. Um, previous to this was the Redline 6K, which I also did a review on. Um, I'll put a link down in the description if you want to go check that video out. But today's video is going to be on the 12K uh, flashlight or 12,000 lumen one um, that just rolled out, uh, I think about two, three weeks ago, something like that. But anyway, uh, it was shortly after I did the video of the uh, Redline 6K one that I um, purchased. Um, so anyway, and I was looking around the website and lo and behold, they had a new release, uh, which was this one, the 12K. Uh, flashlight um, I think it's 12k gold <clears throat> um, the you'll see in a minute they got like gold plated well not everything is gold plated but they got like a nice little gold ring on it and everything but anyway so this is their brightest flashlight they make as of the date of this video being released which is in February of 2021 so um, I'm interested to see the next version um, they're gonna put out but anyway um, let's get on with the video. So, you are greeted with a nice glossy, you know, your nice, you know, well, 12K and the white text, but then you get the nice glossy 12,000 uh, reflective um, display here, uh, graphics, I guess you could say. Uh, and then on the other side, you got your bright fluorescent orange, and then you got the flashlight kind of imprinted on you know one big uh, well not one big picture but on kind of splits into two different sides but as we can see here 12,000 lumens um, and has a bunch of nice little um, protection features to uh, maximize the life of the LEDs and the battery um, it is using a Cobb um, LED um, that now I will show inside um, how these LEDs um, are connected um, and it does look like uh, I'm not sure the brand if this is a custom LED chip that they're using in here but it looks very very identical to um, a Luxon or not Luxon um, a Cree um, C-R-E-E -E, um, Cree brand of LEDs um, you can look them up on Google they're a um, top-notch manufacturer for um, high quality high density high light output LEDs uh, used for multiple um, applications such as you know standard you know home lighting photography lighting stuff like that with over 90 things like they make that they're the ones who make the LEDs with like 99 CRI um, output and all that and whatnot but yeah anyway uh, this one um, actually has type C uh, for to charge the flashlight uh, unlike the previous ones only used I, I'm not sure if they updated the smaller ones but I know like previous ones they've only used micro USB so kind of the old standard um, it does have a 5,000 um, milliamp hour or 5 amp hour battery um, the same as the Redline 6k it's two um, two lithium ions 3.7 volts um, I'm not sure each so 5,000 divided by two it's like 200 or 2500 milliamps a piece two four yeah so there would be two 2.5 amp hours for each battery uh, and then it's using um, two 26 650s um, in series with each other so uh, for a total output of I think it's like 7.2 volts or seven something like that but anyway we'll take a look, take a look at the battery uh, later on uh, and IP67 one meter for 30 minutes and your aircraft grade aluminum and then you got your light modes you got your turbo high medium low and strobe so your turbo is what gets you your 12,000 lumens uh, but you can only run it for 30 second intervals so um, and uh, you'll uh, I'll show you how to activate all that and um, like I said so the turbo is 12,000 the high mode is 7,000 lumens medium is 3000 lumens and low is 300 lumens and strobe is medium uh, so 3000 lumens um, 
Anyway, so at the highest setting, not turbo, but just high, um, the rated uh, life or of the battery on a single full fully charged, uh, it's about two hours, and I think it's five hours on medium, and um, I think it's eight hours on low. I'm not sure, um, but I know the Redline 6K, the low setting, uh, I think was like rated for like 50 hours on low, but I only put it out. It only put out like 60 lumens, so. Anyway, so you're greeted with a nice box here. Let me make sure that's adjusted. And we will open it up. So it opens up like a hinged box here. And lo and behold, it is nice and shiny in there. Uh, you do got the little ribbon here. That's just to help you pull it out. But this is what I was talking about. The cult, they call it the gold, or I've seen it called the gold. Um, it's just a little the brand little ring on there and the light actually does light up orange uh, in operation and we'll see that in a minute so actually gonna turn around it makes it a little bit more straighter and you pull it out like so and lo and behold you got your flashlight i did forget to put this back on. i already took this out and charged it up so um just so uh uh, before I started the video so that's why um, this is opened up but I'll just go ahead and show you here there's your USB um, type C input down here and then your USB charger for your phone or for whatever device and here's your nice 12k uh, engraved in there with the brand in there and then the buttons actually got the logo uh, and that lights up um, now uh, first press is high uh, you hold it down for turbo, uh, which lasts for 30 seconds. Press it again for medium, or yeah, after turbo, um, it'll go back down to high, and then you press it again, then it goes to medium, low, off, and then you double tap for strobe. Uh, and then you can go backwards, so you can actually hold it down for a few seconds, and it'll actually turn on low first. And then you press it again, it goes up to medium, and then high, uh, I think. And then uh, if you hold it back down to where we turn on low, if you double tap, I think it goes straight to high. And then, or oops, turbo. I don't know, but we'll we'll figure it out in a minute. I can't exactly remember. I'm I'm still new to this, so. Anyway, it does have an adjustable lens. Uh, it just turns up like so. Uh, for spotlight or floodlight, it just doesn't matter. Just whatever you want. It's got some kind of grease on there. might be dirt or something I don't know like some kind of grease there uh, the lens is replaceable uh, all you do is just unscrew this ring so just like the red line 6k you can actually pop the lens out I'm not gonna do that on this but and it's got the o-ring in there uh, now if you can see these little I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but the the chips um, there is we try to see so there is two LEDs in series with each other um, and it goes to each of these you can see these big lines these are actually the bus bars where they tap into it um, I might actually I'm gonna actually draw I'll, I'll be right back and I'll draw out exactly how they're connected in there so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back just to briefly show okay I'm back I just did a little schematic just a little doodle so what I was explaining was inside you got your bus bars, uh, which is what you see these big lines. And of course I'm not going to get close with the camera, but visibly I can uh, see down there. But you'll have two LEDs. Uh, one will be tapped on one side of the bus bar. It goes through, and then there's like a jumper wire that goes from this LED for from one LED, I should say. Then it goes over and taps into the second LED, which then taps onto the other bus bar. Say this is positive or negative or whatever. And then you go up and then it just restarts. So it's like every two LEDs. And so this is how it's arranged. Now the old model, you had two um, LEDs side by side uh, and they would just go from you know positive through this LED to the other LED and then to negative. Uh, but in this arrangement, they've uh, redesigned the Cobb uh, chip into how the LEDs are wired up in series. So, um, 
pretty much this is exactly and it is at an angle like I drew it here but it's more of a little bit more over like this this will be slid over a little bit more so you'll have one over here one over here 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 kind of like that I guess or they'll be lined up I think they're yeah so they are lined up but you'll still have this wire that jumps over and it taps into the other LED so uh, that's how they got these um, wired up the um, in series with each other but anyway so um, making sure I didn't forget anything I will show you when you do charge it like I said when you turn it on this stays solid uh, orange uh, I wish I had done like a green yellow or red just you know as a battery indicator uh, but it just um, stays up orange now the red lung 6k does stay green and then it goes to red when the battery is dead but they don't have like a yellow which I wish they would have done that with the red line but also this one um, the 12k version right here they would have put like a, a you know red uh, red green or red yellow green you know as a battery indicator but unfortunately they didn't uh, so inside of course you'll there's a tab they'll tell you to remove and these batteries are replaceable you can swap them out uh, anytime you want like I said these are two 18 um, not 18 excuse me 26 650s also before I show you the batteries I should note that it does have two o-rings and then you got like this big rubber ring in here around the, the contact so it's got like three seals so to make sure there's no water getting in there um, they do got some kind of like assembly lube on this so it's kind of like some kind of grease like Vaseline or something I guess that's just so it's not like metal on metal you know that kind of thing because it is aluminum and it is a little soft so I guess just keep you from getting this keeping this from getting jammed up or whatever uh, but anyway but uh, it does have a spring but it does have like a protector here as you can probably see this little this piece like cover piece that goes over the spring so we'll set that down and this is your battery pack um, there are 7.4 volts so it's two 26 650s at 5 amp hours now another thing I should mention is since this is a higher powered one, so this is putting out 12,000 lumens versus the red line, which is only 6, um, they should have upgraded the battery capacity. So instead of a 5 amp hour, they probably should have done like a 10 or 11 or 12. So I'm not sure why they still kept the uh, original design or the original battery pack. Um, now it's still, you know, 26,650, but they could have chose like higher rated capacity batteries like something kind of like what you'd find in like uh the e-cigarettes or vape batteries uh which which those are 18650s but uh i've looked uh these are also used in some of your heavier uh like your vape mods and stuff i guess uh when you search these up that's what it recommends for like vapes and stuff but of course you know they're used for flashlights even the 18650s are used for multi-purpose but as of now most people use them for vapes or e-cigarettes or whatever but uh, they could have used like something from Samsung you know like with a really high discharge rate or whatever or a decent rate of capacity but uh, I don't know the brand of these and I don't know I don't know these are like custom made or, or what or some you know off the market Chinese brand but anyway so that's that it does have this weird like this bar you can probably see here it runs from the bottom all the way up I'm not sure what that's about and it looks like it's some kind of circuitry in there if you look it's like some kind of contact I'm not sure what all that's about but anyway so um, now I'm gonna turn it on and I'll show you how to do that so when you first turn it on you have high I it's gonna wash out the camera. So that's high, and then this is turbo. You hold it down for turbo, and you'll see it gets brighter, it ramps up brighter. And then you just press it again to go back down to high, and then you press it again, medium, low, and then off. Uh, now, uh, a note to any people, anybody with epilepsy, um, Now's a good time to look away. Uh, in about five seconds, I'll count down and I will show you the strobe feature. So, and I'll let you know when to look back. So, five, four, three, 
two, one, and you just double tap. And then you got your strobe feature, and then you tap it again to turn it off. All right, you can look back now. So uh, that's that feature. And then you hold down the button to turn on low, and then I think you press it again. Okay, so it goes to high. Oh, so medium, and that's high, and then off. So you can actually go start from one press, um, high, medium, low, off, and then you hold it down to go backwards. So low, medium, high, and turbo, and then high, and then off. So kind of weird, I guess. Uh, it can go either forward or backwards, but anyway, uh, besides that, um, it does get hot like the other flashlight. It doesn't get incredibly hot. Of course, you do have the little, you know, it tells you, you know, don't touch, you know, caution, hot surface, but it really doesn't get that hot, honestly. Um, it, for me using it anyway, from what, from the experience I've had with it so far, but, um, I think that's pretty much it, uh. Yeah, I think I've went through all the features. Now, I guess I could show you um, when you're charging it. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll just explain that real quick. Um, I don't, well, before that, um, I don't have a load tester, so I'm not sure what the rated capacity is um, on the USB port. Um, I've tried using, uh, I have a fast charging phone. The phone, the phone I'm recording now is a type uses Type-C, and it supports fast charging and wireless charging, but... When I did plug it into here, it didn't. It just says cable charging, so I guess it's like a one amp uh, port, not like a two point one amp. Although it could use a two point one amp, maybe, or it could push that. Um, I mean, it's a five amp hour battery, but I suppose it wouldn't really last that long if you were using that. So, but uh, I don't have a load test or anything to test that on. So I'll have to do a follow up video, I guess, if I get one in the future. But, um, and of course you got type C on the input, but, uh, like I said, with the charging, um, how that works is, oh yeah, what I should have mentioned is, uh, this is the light, it lights up orange, so, you see that there, it's a nice orange. There we go. And then it just turns off. And then when you plug it in... Um, it's going to light up green and it'll actually breathe when it's, it'll, it'll stay on and then it'll fade out and then it'll fade back on. So it's a breathing light. Uh, it'll light up green. It'll breathe green, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, and then once the light is solid green, that means the batteries are, is completely charged. It's fully charged. And I guess I could just bring over the charger. Now I currently use a standard fast phone charger here. Um, 5 volt 2.1 amps so um, this is just from an old phone I had but uh, 5 volts uh, 2.1 amps uh, so uh, now if you're using like a crappy like a cheap Chinese type you know it only puts out like 500 milliamps or 1 amp your the time may vary depending on like charge time depending on how drain, far down during the battery is but I think on um, like a standard type C I mean, yeah, with a, not Type-C, but I meant like a standard 1 amp charger or whatever, uh, just a standard charger, um, depending on what you use, it could take up to 24 hours to fully charge the batteries that are completely depleted, but if you're using a high, um, fast charging, uh, charger, which puts out, you know, like 2.1 amps or 2.5 amps, um, it says it'll charge fully, completely depleted battery in about 6 hours, so that's, you know, big difference, so, if you do get one of these, I recommend using the like a fast charger or something from an old cell phone or whatever, or at least a power supply, you know, five volts at at least two point or two amps or higher, uh, just so uh, charging time is not like an entire day. So uh, I'll plug this in real quick. Just pop that in there, and you'll see this will breathe off and on. And actually, let me just turn that light out. And that's all it does. It just breathes off and on. And 
and then once it stays on completely, um, that's when the batteries are completely charged. But, uh, yeah, uh, oh, I should also do some, um, quick testing. Should also do some quick testing. Uh, that's one thing I forgot to do. In case anybody's wondering, how hot is this? Yes, it is actually hot enough to light things on fire. So, I should warn you, if you have the turbo mode on, do not put it near anything dark, uh, black, or any dark colors. Like, this is a, this is a dark blue. Even the inside was it's kind of like a dark blue. It even did burn some of the dark blue, but any dark clothing or anything like this, like a black wire or whatever, anything dark, um, I recommend, you know, just be careful. Don't just set it down next to anything because it can't actually ignite things. And just to prove that, you know, just a piece of paper, here's my jacket. This ain't even that dark. And, you know, this is kind of a gray color. And you'll see really quick. It actually gets pretty, pretty hot. So, yeah, I should also mention that. So, just be careful when you're using the high mode, or turbo especially, as you can actually start a fire if you're um, not careful. So, but, oh, I gotta charge this anyway. I don't know why I'm putting the thingy bag on. But anyway, um, I'll do a part two where I'll be walking through the woods. Um, I'll post that, well, with this, testing the light output. So, um, that should be coming up pretty soon. So... Uh, until next time, um, thanks for watching.